today we are trying our first yoga sculpt class at Core Power Yoga. I'm pretty sure the class is free because I booked it online and I did not put any payment information in and somehow I was able to book the class. So let's hope for the best. That would be awesome. We love when things are free. <laughs> I got an email. You've got mail. It said I need to bring my own mat, water bottle, towel, and any other supplies. I brought my mat. I did not bring a towel and I filled up my water bottle and forgot it at home. So let's go see what this is all about. Let's try the free week. Awesome. So that will expire a week from today. Have you done like a sculpt class before? I've done like the at home one from Obey Fitness and stuff. I decided to do a yoga sculpt class because again, I have never taken a yoga sculpt class. Love yoga, tried sculpt. Why not try them together? Using weights or just body weight? Or... Both. Perfect. Well, today you will need uh, two blocks, a set of weights for biceps and triceps. One heavy dumbbell, everything's to your right. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, as Rachel would say, You wanted to talk about it, let's talk about it! I'm just gonna say this right now. You need to bring a towel. I don't care if you're someone who's like, I don't sweat because usually I'm someone who's like, I don't sweat. Yeah, no, I sweat. And I have a beach towel which I left in my car because I've never taken a full beach towel into a classroom. I've never taken a beach towel into a class before, but I should have because I have never eaten so much of my own sweat through my eyes, my nose, and my mouth. More sweaty than I've been during an Adrian workout, more sweaty than a Jess Sims workout, more sweaty than a Barry's workout, and more sweaty than my favorite right now, Rumble. Also, don't be like me. Don't forget a water. They're going to charge you $4 for a box of water, and that's a little ridiculous. But considering that the first class and you can sign up for a free week is free 99 I should have just got the $4 water. But I'm trying to save money and not spend little dollars here and there. So I need to go home and hydrate because hydrate or dehydrate. And I'll see you for our next class. I liked today a lot better than the first day. I think the first day is always an adjustment no matter where you go. Today I had Bethany as an instructor. What I really liked was the instructor instructed more and I could see her doing the demonstrations more than I could the last time. I was also closer to the front of the class rather than way in the back corner. Cost. Here's the thing. The cost for your core power experience is going to vary depending on where you are. I'm located in Denver, where each individual class is priced at $27. In Chicago, it's $28, and in LA, you're looking at $29 per class. Now, before you get upset that LA is the most expensive, I will also let you know that I looked up the core power in Honolulu, and each class is $30, and your 20 class option is $5.45. So for once, LA isn't the most expensive, but it's still up there. And like any good business, they will likely send you an incentive offer via email after your first class or two with a discounted offer off your first month. With that said, I would give Core Power's overall cost a B just because I think their pricing is pretty fair based on the area and the classes around it. It does vary depending on which state you live in, which is kind of to be expected. Coaching. This is taken directly from the Core Power website. Core Power teachers are 200 hours certified, recognized by Yoga Alliance, or are certified through Core Power Yoga's intensive yoga sculpt program. I do appreciate that this company does require their teachers to be certified, and to add to that, Core Power also offers teacher training programs, if that's something you're interested in. In the two classes I took, I had an instructor that was very clear and concise, and another one that was a little bit vague and at times hard to follow. With that being said, I suggest that with any studio or any of the programs I review, trying at least two or three instructors to see who's the right fit for you. So overall, I would give coaching a B. Convenience. Core Power has over 200 studios in the US across 22 states. And while that sounds like a lot, as we can see on the map, you have to be pretty lucky to find yourself close to one. You don't necessarily need a studio to be part of the Core Power crew because they do have an on-demand option through their app, which is why I'm going to give convenience an A. Consistency. 
From what I could find, most of the in-studio classes are anywhere between 30 and 60 minutes. If you're crunched for time, you may not be able to squeeze in a studio class, but you could pull up a 20 minute class from the app. Of course, this would be inconvenient if you don't pay for the app, leaving you SOL. Because of this, I rate consistency with a C. The classes are long and you'll need to pay for them. Okay, if I don't go to another class this week, if this is the end for me, will I go back to Core Power? If it's anything over $20, I probably will not. I don't really think I like Yoga Sculpt. And I said this when I did my Obey fitness trial and I am saying it again. And basically what I have to say about that was it was an interesting class for sure. I don't know if I would take it again. I think if I wanna do a weights class, I'll take a weights class. And if I wanna do a yoga class, I'll take a yoga class. I think yoga as a practice in itself can be very, very powerful. And I don't like interfering with, stay with me here. I don't like interfering with that power that you can get from a wonderful yoga practice with pop music and additional exercises. Now that's not to say that it is not a good form of movement because I think you can get a great workout in during a yoga sculpt class. I just think for me personally, I like to keep those two things separate. Cons, there are no fans, there's no AC, it's hot. It's stinky, which I don't know how they keep the smell of people out of berries and rumble, but somehow they do it. And I'm gonna need that secret to be shared with the surrounding fitness areas, please. Three, all the lights are on. I've realized that I like working out in the dark. I just like working out with LED lighting because I look better in the dark. Do I have my back flickers on? I think I totally did, that's, oops. Also, ever since the COVID-19 pandemic, I truly mean that, it was a pandemic, I get kind of grossed out. And it's like germophobic almost, when I can see in the bright fluorescent lighting, these sweaty people, around me and then it mixed with the smell and then I'm like how much of this am I breathing in and it kind of puts me into a spiraling panic and I don't know if that's something that I want to deal with or if that's something that I'm okay with just saying you know I don't I'm not going to go to those classes because I just am kind of a little bit claustrogermophobic. The instructors don't have microphones so you cannot hear what they are saying sometimes and then I feel like a goof because I am trying to follow along but I don't know what to do because I can't hear the cue and now I'm just rhyming so that's all I have for you if you like mixing like Pilates, light weights, and yoga, and you like pop music remixes, this is the class for you. If you prefer to keep yoga separate from a sculpting workout, then it may not be the one for you. There are other classes that Core Power offers, so you are more than welcome to try those out. With that, I just saw three, 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 so we'll end on an angel number. Be creative, be inspired. That's all I remember for the three, three, threes. Um, I'll drop the website though in the show notes of where I look at all my angel numbers because that's just the fun fact of the day. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Wait, let's turn this off. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you for our next fitness review.